everybody. My name is Mike, and today I'm going to show you how to change the color of a car. Uh, now, there's a lot of video tutorials out there on YouTube, etc., on how to change the color of a car from, you know, uh, blue to orange or, or what have you. Um, but recently I had a friend at work ask me to change the color of uh, this car here in the picture from black to white. And now a lot of the videos out there, um, the techniques they use don't work from, from black to another color. And a couple of the videos that I found that do try to do a black car, uh, they go into different, you know, painting with brown and color shifts and stuff like that. And it gets a little complicated. So what I'm going to show you today is a very simple technique for grabbing a black car and turning it to white. It takes a little bit of elbow grease, but uh, uh, it's a lot easier to understand and it's a lot easier to uh, perform. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is get your picture of a black car and we are going to uh, cut out the body of the car and uh, now what we don't want to worry about right now we don't want to worry about all the little nernies uh, we'll get to those later and so uh, what I did first was I just basically um, I'm going to do this real quick because uh, just to save time in the video so I'm not going to worry about following the edges but you're going to basically cut around the edge of the car uh, and get this chunk of the car separated so you can work with it. You know, of course, control C, control V to copy paste, and then you have the car cut out. Uh, and I'll delete that. Um, a lot of people will try to use the lasso tool, and, you know, it's kind of unwieldy, hard to work with. Some people like to use the polygonal uh, lasso tool. Um, that's fine if you want to take a lot of time. The problem with that is it uh, only does straight edges. So if you want curved edges, you're going to have to do a lot of little clicks. Um, the, what I prefer to use is the pin tool. The pin tool is nice because once you get it started, you can uh, kind of curve it around, you know, click and drag for your curves, and you have a lot more control over where your points are going. And unlike the uh, polygonal and the lasso tool, uh, once you're done with it, you can continue to edit it. Uh, by holding control and click and uh, dragging the points that you've already created around or changing the uh, the bezier curve that you've created. Uh, so it's just a real nice uh, tool to uh, use and of course you end by clicking um, I realize I cut off the hood there but I just want to show you once you click there obviously that isn't a selection so if you've been using the pin tool um, you'll go over here to paths and that's the path you just created. You can right click that and say make selection uh, feather it if you want or not uh, for this let's not feather it because we want a nice sharp edge and then that turns it into a selection and you can uh, copy that into the other layer uh, just like we did with the other one um, if you're having trouble uh, and it's making shapes instead of paths up here in the upper left hand corner of your screen you'll see the uh, the buttons here uh, the one in the middle there is the one we want the one on the left will actually make a shape um, as you fill it in and um, so don't use that one we want the one on the right alright so let's get back to where we were so you're gonna cut out the whole car and then you're gonna go back onto that layer that you've pasted um, I've got one here so let's do that uh, bring it down okay so we've got the layer that we pasted and you're going to want to go through and start deleting parts so you're going to want you can use again the tool, the polygonal lasso tool or the the pin tool and you're going to want to draw in you know like your your headlights and stuff like that and your uh, side lights your blinkers this little thing on the on the um, hood there uh, the hood slot over here you're going to want to remove all that the windows um, the door handle and delete that from the layer that you've pasted your car shell onto and um, I've done that previously so that we didn't have to spend a lot of time going into detail on that and I'll just bring that up here um, one thing I do want to mention is when you do get your selection made it's real handy to uh, let's say we were selecting with the polygonal lasso tool and we had this perfect selection that we did alright well we can go up here to select and save selection and give it a name and then that way if you look over here in your channels it will be there so I will just turn that on real quick and uh, that is the selection that I made with my car earlier before I started the video and the beautiful thing about that is if you uh, want to get to that later get rid of this path here it's kind of in our way 
you want if you ever have to go back and recopy or repaste uh, what you selected you don't lose it every time you start a new selection you can basically bring up your original uh, car and just say select load selection there's the selection that I saved earlier and say OK and there's that beautiful selection that we did that we spent so much time on when we didn't lose okay so I digress uh, we've got our selection we've got our car copied and pasted into a new layer and this is the car shell with everything that we've taken out alright now here's where it gets fun this is the easy part that I was telling you about we're going to select that layer and we're going to go to image and adjustments now a lot of people like to play with the exposure or the brightness and contrast or even you know get into the curve editor uh, which just makes my uh, head hurt so what we're going to do is we're going to go down to hue and saturation just like the tutorials that show you how to change the color of a car but we're going to completely ignore hue and saturation we are just going to grab the lightness bar and slide it to the right and you'll notice if you don't slide it enough it looks like an ugly gray mess if you slide it too far you've got that slot solid white uh, which is also ugly. Uh, we're going to bring it down just somewhere in the middle and this is going to just take a feel for you uh, looking at it but what you're looking for is something that looks like a nice white car but you still want a little bit of the detail of like the blue sky and the reflection colors and the specularity and stuff like that you want that detail to still come out while still looking like white paint. It's not going to look perfect just with this slider so don't worry about it get the paint color looking right where the reflections are and ignore all these areas around the edges that look a little bit too sharp. Um, a lot of times you can uh, increase the saturation or you can, uh, once you're done with that, you can actually go and increase the vibrance if you need to pull a little bit of that uh, reflection color back out. Okay, so now we've got our nice white shell um, but it still looks a little bit too clean and you can go through and you can kind of clean up around the edges if you want to. Uh, the easiest way I found to make this look more realistic is to just paint shadows back in. There's a couple of different ways to do that. You can use the burn tool over here. Um, you can actually get your, uh, your paint brush and start painting black on. Uh, what I really like to do is since we already have a black car underneath and it's already got all that beautiful detail with the uh, reflections and the specularity, I just grab the eraser tool because if you look beneath is exactly what what we want to do to darken the car and uh, if we use the eraser tool not only do we preserve some of that uh, detail but over here where we have some of the lighter uh, specular parts uh, we won't lose those reflections and specularity by uh, erase but we will lose it if we paint over but we won't lose it if we're just erasing so we're gonna set our opacity on our eraser to about a uh, quarter uh, make the uh, brush um, nice and fuzzy. We don't want any hardness on it and we'll make it, you know, we can adjust the size on the fly. Okay, so basically we just, uh, the brackets will increase and decrease the size of your brush and we just want to kind of run a sweep. Don't even touch the car to begin with. We're just going to run a sweep back and forth and if you can tell what that's doing in the video, it's basically shading the bottom of the car as if it were in shadow. Okay, and then you want to come do that on the front as well. Basically, anywhere you think a shadow is going to be, you just give it a nice little kiss with that brush. Okay, and then of course you're going to go through and and get detailed, and this is where the beauty of it comes in. You come in here. Obviously, there's supposed to be some shading along here, so we you know just kind of shade that in. And this is ugly because I'm doing it quick, but you get the idea. You're basically taking a little bit away at a time, uh, erasing it and putting that shadow back in. And basically adding the realism back in that you took out by lightening everything at once. And you can already tell even that little bit um, is working out nicely. Uh, of course we're going to want to uh, get rid of almost everything in the wheel wells because that's going to be super dark. and just keep on tweaking and manipulating it and eventually you'll come up with you know a nice um, a nice shaded version that looks uh, pretty decent to the pretty close to a real white car um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time in this video filling in all the little details but what I wanted to show you mainly was that you can just take a black car spend your time in the detail and the cutouts and then just use that uh, that uh, lightness slider over on your adjustments um, and that is really what's going to solve the problem for you.
I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, feel free to leave any comments and I'll answer any questions that I missed. And have a good day.